Welcome to the Comic Scoop on National Women's Appreciation Day on this lovely Tuesday, March 8th, 2021. Today I will be highlighting uh, the women in comics, both uh, in on the actual pages and those behind the pages. All right, what better way to start it than with last year's Women of Marvel. Came out uh, April 21st, 2021. Uh, it has an introduction by Louise Simonson, and the entire issue is filled with women artists and writers. Uh, we have uh, writers such as uh, Mariko uh, Tami uh, Tamaki, uh, Sophie Campbell, and Toll, just to name a few, as well as artists um, Skylar Partridge, Naomi Frankwiz. Uh, Peach Momoko uh, has uh, a cover uh, variant, as well as uh, the first story in here is done by her. Uh, and this cover is done by Maria Wolf. I, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Peach Momoko's stuff, but I chose this one over the Peach cover because I, uh, I really love uh, Magic, who's the character, Ileana, and um, yeah, I just thought that was a really cool addition. So speaking of uh, Peach Momoko, I have one of her variant covers here. This is for Excalibur 25. This came out uh, November 10th, 2021, uh, it, written by uh, Timmy Howard. So I thought that was a nice uh, female writer with a uh, variant cover done by Peach Momoko. And we're going to keep that theme a little bit here, quite, quite a bit of Peach stuff. But this is uh, Peach Momoko's very own uh, comic series, Demon Days. Very first issue is called X Men. Each one has a different name. There's X Men, Mariko, Cursed Web, Rising Storm, and they have a final issue coming out just in a couple weeks here, actually. Um, March 23rd, I believe. Uh, Blood Feud is the final installment. Uh, but this one's great. Uh, so Peach does the interior work as well as the uh, cover. And this is one of like, my first times at least seeing her interior uh, designs. Give me one moment. So you just got to see this for yourself. Um, once uh, Blood Feud comes out, I will do a video specifically on this series. So I'll go more into detail about that. But just look how beautiful that watercolor is. And it's really cool. Uh, Momoko takes some traditional characters and uh, repurpose them in this, uh, what's a very classic uh, Japanese folk tale. And it's absolutely amazing. Really cool. Uh, next thing I want to feature is Phoenix Song, Echo, number one. Now, this is written by Rebecca Rowanhorse, and uh, this is a Stormbreakers uh, variant cover done by Carmen Cornejo. And nice uh, transition there from one Stormbreakers artist to another one. This came out uh, not too long ago. It was the uh, 20th of October, this past October, 2021. Next I have here is Riot, part of the Extreme Carnage uh, miniseries. If uh, any of you have seen the Venom movie, the first one, uh, we're slightly familiar with Riot. Uh, Riot is one of the symbiote spawns of Venom. And uh, this I actually got signed by Alyssa Wong herself. Al Alyssa Wong's the writer for this. Uh, she is especially known for her work on uh, Dr. Alpha, uh, which is a uh, part of Star Wars. And I can't seem to find the couple issues of Dr. Alpha I have. It's not in my Star Wars section. Otherwise, I'll show that to you now. But I do have uh, Iron Fist 1. Uh, I go more into detail about this issue in one of my weekly reviews. But uh, Alyssa Wong is the uh, writer for this, so it's kind of neat that she's taking on... Um, 
big title like Iron Fist there. Uh, and she was real fun to meet. I got to meet the whole crew for uh, Extreme Carnage, which was a uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome experience. Uh, now I want to go into a couple of uh, trades I have here. These uh, these two I have side by side are uh, two different uh, installations in the uh, uh, Joe Hill's uh, Hill House comics, uh, printed through uh, DC's Black Label. First one is the Lolo Woods, and this is written by Carmen Maria Machado and the artist Danny. Together they make this really fabulous uh, story. Uh, check out the artwork here. Actually, this is a really great page to turn into. That's perfect. So uh, it follows uh, these two female characters who wake up at a movie theater and they have no memory of what has recently happened. Uh, and that's kind of a thing in this town of theirs. Women after a certain age start to lose their memory and there's these strange creatures in the woods. Uh, there's a lot of strangeness coming from this woods and I'm about to close it up actually. Um, don't want to spoil too much or grow too much into it because uh, this takes quite a quite a neat turn. I highly suggest uh, picking up the Lolo Woods. Uh, first issue came out September 21, 2021. But now uh, you can collect it in a trade paperback or this really beautiful hardcover edition, which is really awesome. Um, yes, highly recommend this one. This is one of my top picks for Hill House Comics. And uh, here's another one also from Hill House Comics. This is Daphne Brine. Uh, the first issue of this came out uh, January 8th, 2020 uh, with the writer Laura Marks. And this follows a young girl named Daphne Brine who her father has passed away and her mother seeks unconventional sources to try to commune with him. And in this process, uh, Daphne starts to find a uh, odd presence uh, within her, within the house. And um, it's not very friendly. This one's really cool too. Uh, you can also pick this up in a trade if you don't want to uh, show out the extra cast for this hardcover. But these hardcovers for Hell House Comics are amazing. Uh, I just gotta share so you can take off the sleeve. like. First, check that out. That's great. And then, very menacing. That's uh, that's the art for the uh, first issue, actually. And I especially love the one for uh, Lolo Woods. So you got that. But then, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a good one. It's uh, quite a few uh, great stories in uh that come from the Hill House comics. Uh, one of them is Basket Full of Heads, which is written by Joe Hill himself, and that features a uh, pretty nice... Actually, Basket Full of Heads, written by Joe Hill. Uh, not a woman, but uh, has a very strong female lead, and at this point in my uh, video, I'm going to transition to stories with um, female leads, as opposed to uh, with the writer as well. Because I have a few notable stories here that I, I want to uh, give shout out to. And Bas Basketful of Heads is a pretty uh, pretty fun and strange uh, story. Uh, we have the, the main character who is... Um, I don't even know how to explain that uh, without giving too much detail. I do want to give the Hill House comics their own video not give too much right now. But uh, there's this magical axe that she has. And each time she cuts off these uh, criminals' heads, they stay animated. And it's uh, pretty neat. She's just trying to get to the bottom of uh, what's happening with her boyfriend and uh, why was she um, subjected to this. Um, another really cool series um, is uh, Something is Killing the Children. Highly, highly, highly recommend this series. It's uh, really awesome. Uh, got like kind of a Stranger Things vibe, a um, little bit of like Demon Slayer esque. But uh, main character Erica comes to this town that is um, supposedly there's a monster killing children that uh, this this kid 
explains. And so Erica is part of the House of Slaughter, which is a, a group of monster slayers. Uh, it's really neat. And uh, this has been going on for quite a bit now. Uh, they now have a spinoff series too called The House of Slaughter, kind of like a prequel series. And I haven't looked too much into it, but I've been hearing a lot of speculation that something is killing the children is going to get its own um, like TV series. So keep your eyes out for that. Another great one from um, Joe Hill is uh, Lock and Key Sandman Universe Crossover. Now, Lock and Key has gotten um, quite a bit of popularity through the Netflix TV series. If you enjoy that, I definitely suggest checking this out, especially because uh, I believe the Sandman is going to get its own series in the near future. Uh, Lock and Key Hell and Gone is what it's called, and it follows... Mary Locke, who is one of the ancestors to the children that we know from the TV show. And in this, she is uh, basically trying to get her brother out of hell. So it's kind of like Dante's Inferno meets Lock and Key. Meets Sandman. It's really awesome. And got a cool uh, Peach Momoko cover right here. Kudos to Jager. Thank you. Scott Snyder's uh, Noctera is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Run to the shows to pick this up. Uh, first trade is out now. Uh, Noctera follows a uh, female lead um, who narrates the first arc, and in the new arc that's out now, there's a uh, different girl who they've picked up along the way who is now the, the main storyteller. Uh, it's a really cool twist to the traditional post-apocalyptic uh, infection type uh, story where uh, in, in this instead of there being traditional zombies um, any creature that is in the dark for too long turn into these grotesque beasts and uh, there's not much light around so it gets pretty intense and we have uh, characters like uh, Blacktop Bill who is human-ish, but they're more monster than human. So, um, my last suggestion in this video is Wonder Woman Dead Earth. Wonder Woman is kind of like the president of strong female leads in comics, I feel like. Um, Wonder Woman and uh, maybe Captain Marvel now with the uh, popularity of the uh, MCU movies. Uh, but this one's really great, done by Daniel Warren Johnston, and it comes in this oversized issue, or, look, this is the, the trade that collects them all, hardcover edition. Uh, and this one's fantastic. The art in it is pretty gorgeous. Uh, that's where you can see where I left my bookmark. But, uh, let's see, yeah, check that out. This is also a post-apocalyptic type thing, and very different from Montera. Uh, we have Wonder Woman who wakes up X amount of years into the future and basically finds the world that she once knew is a wasteland. Um, and everyone she knows is also uh, wasted. So this is a really cool story, really gorgeous, beautiful artwork. I uh, highly suggest this. This is really neat, especially if you're curious about Wonder Woman and this kind of takes uh, Wonder Woman into a different direction. Yeah. Alright everyone, uh, so that's my uh, Women's Appreciation Day video and I uh, hope you enjoyed the suggestions I gave. Um, have a nice day everyone and uh, until next time. Bye!